Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm up in the studio. And for this video, I'm going to talk about the Mini Bowl Design choke hazard. So let's move the camera in, and I'll show you what I know. Okay, this is a choke hazard as it comes from the factory. Uh, I call it a choke hazard because it's so small that it fit right in your mouth. <laughs> uh, which I did on a video, but I'm not going to do here. Okay, it has two parts, main parts. It has a top and a bottom, uh, which both have a hole in them. And then inside is a fuel line, which is tapered on both ends. There's a reason for that. And then inside there's two uh, pieces of carbon felt. Okay, now to assemble this little girl isn't easy. Uh, you take this pointed end and force it into this hole and spin it. And it takes a little work. You've got to kind of tuck the edges in and spin it. But you will get it in there. Okay. And put it inside maybe a quarter of an inch. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Now spin the two hoses until both halves stay upright. That can be... There we go. Okay. Put your felts back in. Now this comes with two felts and that gives you room enough to coil up your hose and put it inside and put your lid on. Uh, some people report that it works better with more felts and I'm thinking that you could uh, coil your hose up, put it in and then put the two felts on top of the hose and put the cap on that and store more felts if you wanted to. But uh, it comes with two. Okay, now Let's take pot stand. I'm going to say this four loop will work, but I think a five will work also. And we're going to need some alcohol here. Yeah. Okay, let me get a pot here and we'll show you how to run this rig. Okay, now this is a refueling container. When the stove gets low, you put fuel in here and it'll run down the tube and fuel the stove. Uh, for beginners, you can just put some right in the stove. Uh, you know, that's quick and easy. Uh, light it. Now, this won't immediately turn into an inferno or anything. It takes a while for uh, the body to heat up and for it to get going. It's not an immediate hot stove, but as it warms up and the body warms up, uh, it will get a better flame. So I'm going to turn the camera out, and when this gets up to temperature and probably, oh, I don't know, a couple minutes, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, she's up to temperature and running, and you can see that she'll boil water. Now this wasn't designed to be a primary stove, it was designed to go all together and be extremely compact, something that you could put in an emergency kit, and probably even run on rubbing alcohol if you got right up against it, it might be a little smutty, uh, and even use like three rocks for a pot stand. Uh, to be absolutely minimal. Okay, now to refuel this, uh, you simply squirt some alcohol in here. I keep this elevated and it runs down, runs into the stove. It's pretty much just that simple. That's all there is to it. When you get all done, pull your hoses out, uh, coil them up, put them in, put your cap on, and you're all set to go. Now, uh, I built a one-off simmer ring for a gentleman and I never tried it out and I have one similar to it 
right here. So I'm going to put that on <laughs> and just see how it works. Yep, that definitely took the flame back to uh, <laughs> just a simmer, maybe less than that. Now, <coughs> I'm thinking that the flame on this without the simmering might be about the right strength uh, for baking. It's a, it's a minimal stove. It's uh, not, not real hot. But you can hear with the lid on. Yeah, that's simmering. So the simmering takes a little while for it to warm up, but yep, simmering works. So, uh, that's basically everything uh, to do with the choke hazard. Uh, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Try to have a really great day. Try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.